Hi everyone and welcome to Around the Table's newest video. Today we're doing a football themed uh, meal and we're gonna be doing barbecue chicken tacos with a blue cheese coleslaw. We're also featuring Newport Storm Oktoberfest, which we also cooked the chicken in. So we got some big flavor, big games, big fun, right? Yeah. All right. Let's get cooking. All right guys, so the first step is to get the chicken cooked. What we can either do is cook it in a crock pot like this one right here, like we got, or you can go out to the store and uh, buy a rotisserie chicken, which is uh, kind of the easy way to do it, but I think you get more flavor with the, uh, with the crock pot. Mm. And so, plus we use beer, so right. you so really can't go wrong. First step is to add more beer. No, oh. no more beer. No more beer. We're done with the beer. All right, so go first ahead. step is to shred the chicken. So we use two forks, and basically just get in there, start shredding the chicken. And while John's doing that, I'm gonna get the blue cheese coleslaw all together. So first what you're gonna wanna do is make the dressing that's gonna go with the coleslaw. You wanna do it before you actually get all of the coleslaw in a bowl, that way um, you really get it mixed up properly. So what you wanna do is start off with half a cup of sour cream. It's kind of a typical uh, coleslaw recipe, but you're just adding the blue cheese, which makes it really flavorful. If for some reason you don't like blue cheese, I happen to really like it. I like it. Yeah. So if you don't, you can use feta cheese or another crumbly cheese. Goat that cheese. would work. Yeah, goat cheese is actually pretty, pretty good. I would like that. Um, next, you're going to do half a cup of mayo. Uh, you can use low fat mayo or regular, whatever you have on hand. Um, I did it with low fat before and it actually comes out pretty good. So, okay. So, half a cup of that. And then you're gonna add the blue cheese. I like to just eyeball it, but I mean, we really like I say blue extra, cheese. Extra blue cheese. Extra? Okay. okay. Extra blue cheese. So, after that, you're just gonna add a squeeze of mustard, so not too much. Um, you can use grainy mustard, that actually makes it look really pretty, but if you just have Dijon on hand or some yellow mustard, that's fine too. We don't have to be beer super. in this one too, or no? Okay, no more beer. <laughs> so next, we're just gonna um, use some lemon juice just to make it a little more thin. Um, it's kind of hard, so what I like to do is either put it in the microwave. John's already ready to help. I'll help you. Um, just roll it around a little bit. That way, get the juices flowing. Another tip from Rachel Ray. There we go. Can I say thank you. <laughs> so we're just gonna cut it in half. Oh, Hope that but, <laughs> oh. <laughs> so um, just squeeze it over the bowl. Um, I like to do it right side up. That way none of the seeds get in. You want to put that one in? Sure. Just make sure none of the seeds go in. Okay. That's a seed. Oh, that's fine. I'll get it out. That's two seeds. Yeah. That's, that's okay. Right. All right, people, this isn't going to be perfect, right? So if you think about it, if people are watching the game at your house, they're probably going to be drinking anyway. So probably wouldn't be that bad. You'll scoop those guys out. Yeah, scoop them out. What would I do without you? I know, I'm big help. He really is. Okay, so after that, what we're gonna do is just mix it all up. Do you wanna mix it? Yes, please. Okay. So we're just gonna mix it all up and make sure that everything is combined. You wanna make sure that everything is combined first before adding it to the coleslaw because you don't want huge chunks of blue cheese or mustard or, or anything like that. So um, once that's all done, you're gonna add it to the coleslaw. We're actually doing just a bagged coleslaw mix today. Gonna keep it easy. Yeah. We, we don't wanna be like, cooking all day when the game's on. Exactly, right? you don't wanna be slaving by the stove. So basically what you do is um, just buy bagged coleslaw mix. I find that it's actually a lot more uniform that way too. So um, it actually has the carrots in it already. Um, if you end up doing this yourself and you know cutting the cabbage, then add carrot also. You wanna mix it up for me? Adds nice Use color your brawn. Too. Yes, it does. It has really nice color. Um, and what you wanna do after you fully mix it up, make sure you get down in there. Um, so after that, you're just gonna throw it in the fridge for a couple of hours. So I would do this either the night before or the morning of. That way it has um, a few hours to marinate in the fridge. Basically it just gets better with time. Um, the blue cheese flavor sets in and gets really creamy. So um, after that, after it's mixed up, it's pretty much done. What do you think? Good to go? That's pretty good, yeah. All right, so we have our, no. 
<laughs> we have our coleslaw and we are good to go. Add it to the tacos. All right. Okay, so my idea for these was to serve them kind of family style, let anyone serve themselves. That way you're not, you know, serving everyone and not watching the game. So what I do is just fold these with some tin foil, the tortillas. You can use flour, corn. I prefer flour. Right, yeah. What, what size are those? Um, they're actually the small ones. Don't get like the burrito size ones unless you actually want to make burritos out of these, which you can. Plus they're like 200 calories a piece. Let's save ourselves for, for some other chips or something. So um, I wrap them up loosely and then I just throw them in the oven on low broil just to get some heat through them. You can heat them up in the microwave too. That's what John wanted to do, but I said no. So Easy. here I go into the stove. Um, so next what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put some of these together for you so you can see what the presentation looks like. Do you wanna chop up some cilantro? Chop them. Yeah, cilantro is good for garnish. So what I do is I put some of the chicken on the bottom. Actually, you know, it's probably easier. Set it up as an assembly line. That way, it's all ready to go. But I still think having people serve themselves is the easiest thing to do. Absolutely. I really like the cilantro flavor yeah. with these. And I just love cilantro in general, so. You wanna sprinkle a little on top right there for you, Leah? Yeah, could you? Just a little bit. Thanks. All of them, all three of them? Yeah. And then after that, you just want to put some of the coleslaw on top. There we go. Those look good. I know. Don't eat them now. He's been saying all day that he wants to have them now, so. We have to save them for our guests. Yes. Okay. There we go. And then after that, do you want to put a little more cilantro on top? Sure, why not? Okay. A little extra color. Yeah. And then I think they're also nice just with like a little drizzle um, of the barbecue sauce on top. There you go. Right? I know. Those look good. Right? Okay, so after that, they are ready to go. And you're ready to enjoy your game. All right. Thanks so much everyone for joining us. Hope you enjoyed our taco recipe today and that you try it at your next big football party. And for any more questions, feel free to visit my blog, aroundthetableri.blogspot.com. Cheers. All right, cheers.